Hey, what's going on, folks? It's me, Justin, from cammodelagency.com. Today, I'm going to be talking about how much you charge for OnlyFans. I'm talking about your subscription cost, your custom content cost, your your ratings, if you will, all that kind of stuff. And unfortunately, the truth is that there is no right answer, but there's many factors that go into it. We're going to talk about a bunch of them. So check this out. Uh, tr- think about your fan site as like a strip club, right? Sub- subscription fee is just really there to cover the... Um, or or, that's the cover charge. You got to pay this just to get in any kind of tips and stuff. Those are like lap dances, right? And then your custom content is VIP and that's where people are spending the bigger bucks. So if you kind of think about your page like that, it kind of makes pricing a little bit easier. So uh, at the end, we'll talk about actual, like here are some example pricing schemes. Um, Typically about five to 10 for subscriptions tips are, you know, tips, um, custom content that's, you know, pay per minute, pay per effort, all kinds of things. So, um, before we get into that, we'll talk about uh, a few things you have to consider when you're pricing, updating your pricing, choosing your pricing initially, whatnot. So check this out. First thing you need to do is assess your audience. Okay. You want to find a balance between price and the ability to pay. Um, looking at who, who are you attracting to your page? Is it Joe mechanic who, you know, makes 20 bucks an hour and, and sometimes tips, you know, five or 10 bucks, or is it, you know, John C-suite who he, he doesn't give a shit. He'll, he'll send you a hundred bucks cause it's Tuesday. Um, you, you really just look at how your audience behaves or you can kind of tell through like conversation. If you, if you um, are open to DMS and interacting with them, you learn, you know, who they are, what they got going on. Um, pretty, pretty easily. They're, they're most people, um, that are subscribe are pretty open about what they have going on. And, uh, I mean, don't just sit there and outright say like, Oh, how much money do you make? But you know, what do you do for a living? Um, then you can kind of gauge, uh, how much they probably earn from that. Um, one thing that especially kind of those middle of the road creators, they're not brand new. They're making, you know, we'll say two to five thousand, two to ten thousand dollars per month, is that when you increase your prices, it keeps a lot of the tire kickers out. So you're not gonna have a bunch of guys that are, you know, in your inbox going, Hey, can I, can I get a free sample before I pay? Like, first of all, no, you cannot. <laughs> um Second of all, you know, you, when you go from a five dollar subscription cost, even ten dollars, that that keeps a lot of those like cheap asses out that are, you know, going back to the strip club metaphor that are paying the cover and then sitting in all the way in the back, um, and watching the stage and never getting a lap dance, nothing like that. Uh, now, I mean, as long as those people aren't taking up your time by having conversations, cool, they can pay and they can get the freebies or whatever the case is, but they're not the ones you want to be uh, kind of entertaining. So second of all, you want to assess your content. Um, and this is really difficult because you you really have to be realistic. Okay. Not everybody is going to be that, you know, hundred thousand dollar per month, uh, creator. It's just not in the books for the vast majority of people. Um, so look at the quality that your, uh, content is, is it, you know, shot grainy cell phone footage with shitty lighting, or do you have, you know, a, a quality camera, you know what you're doing, you're m- creating stuff, maybe in a studio, you have a dedicated space. Um, or even if you are making like what could be considered like pro am, uh, professional amateur where it is shot with, you know, this equipment that works very, very well, but it's also shot in a way that gives off the impression that it is amateur. Um, kind of look at all that and, and take that into account. Also the exclusivity. Are you creating content for individuals or are you just kind of creating, you know, picture sets, setting them out mass matches, uh, to everybody and people get what they get. Are you taking, you know, are, are you posting the content you're posting on your, your page to, you know, different websites, tube sites, and then for free on, on, uh, social media, all that comes in in fact. And then the demand, are you creating the same stuff that everybody else is creating? Or do you have something that people want to pay more money for Like When you start getting into those really like really niche fetishes that don't, that don't have a lot of content created for them, you can charge a lot more because people want it and they don't get it anywhere else. So think about all that. Like, and again, the hardest part is like just really being realistic in what you have to offer 
and what people would be paying. Um, I mean, worse comes to worse. You, you look at what somebody else is charging. Ask around. Ask, you know, join a, a community um, or DM other creators and just ask them, hey, what do you charge for this? What do, what do you have going on? Most will be pretty receptive because you're not, you know, necessarily competition. It's it's more like a community thing. You know, some will, some will be, you know, dicks about it, but you just ask somebody else. No big deal. <clears throat> So adapting your pricing, um, you know, it's really hard, especially when you're starting to figure out, you know, what do I want to price my stuff? Because you don't really know. Um, but what you could do is monitor your engagement levels. This is all like the business side. This is all the analytics side. Um, monitor your engagement levels. See what works well. See, you know, if you post a picture set, are you making or, or how much money are you making from that? If you're posting videos, how much money are you making for that? Uh, are you getting tips for, you know, different things? Keep track of all this in like a spreadsheet. Uh, I posted this at this time. This was the content. Here's how much it made. Here, here's how much money it made. Here's the engagement. Here's how many likes it got. Here's how many um, shares, retweets, depending on what your platform is, whatever. Uh, and you can look at the performance. What's actually working um, and, and adjust from there. Okay, when I price it at $5, I get you know, I make 60 when I price it at 10, I make 80, but you know, less people purchase. Well, I can go 10 every time and make more, less people are going to consume. Okay. That's fine. Cause you're making more. Um, and then, you know, depending on what you have going on, selectively accept feedback from your subscribers, from your followers, just ask them, Hey, I mean, how much would you pay for this? Obviously you're not going to ask, you know, Joe blow who um, is sitting in the back of the strip club, just watching. You want to only talk to, interact with on this level. Your, you know, what you could would consider in quotes a whale. Someone that's spending a lot of money for what you have going on. So, just you could ask around, and then they'll tell you, "Hey, I would be willing to pay this." Okay, great. I'm gonna do that. Uh, so, should you have a tip menu? This is a tough call, um, because someone may be willing to pay more than what your menu shows. You know, this kind of goes back to assessing your audience. You might have Joe businessman who will spend a thousand dollars a month on your content. No problem. And he'd be willing to pay, you know, a hundred dollars per minute for something custom. Whereas Joe mechanic might, he might not, you know, have the, the funds to do that. So if you have a tip menu for him, he goes, okay, this is what I can afford. This is what I can get. So it's a really tough call. I would say, um, if you have a handful of subs, just a few, don't have a menu. This might be counterintuitive to what you may think. Don't have a menu. Um, that way you can extract as much from your subs as you can. Uh, if you have a ton of subs and you have like, you you have trouble keeping up with all their the requests and whatnot, I would have a menu just to make it very concrete because then you can sit there and go, okay, here's the price. I don't have to explain it, you know, 20 times a day. Here's the price. And as the workload like gets too much, you just increase the price and then you get fewer orders, but you have more time. So that's kind of general strategy. Again, this is all, it really depends on who you are, what you have going on. It's unique to everybody. So <clears throat> Again, some example pricings, uh, you know, five and 20 bucks for a subscription isn't crazy. Um, if you're brand new and you're really attracting a lot of trying to attract people, you know, you want to start low, um, as you get to those points where it's like, Oh, this is like overwhelming. Like I don't have the capacity to interact with everybody. Increase your prices. That's the easiest way to make either the same or more money but get your time back so you can do more um, basically increasing your hourly rate. If you want to take it into like a nine to five uh, comparison, um, you can see there are prices there. Um, it's, it's all subjective. None of this stuff is concrete. You, you, you do $500 per minute. If you're, you know, popular thousand dollars per minute, if you're, you know, top dog on there. <laughs> so, that's really it. Um, everything is subjective. Everything is individual. It You have to go in and look at what you are creating um, and adjust from there. So thanks for watching. Uh, Camera LHC is a commission-free OnlyFans agency. We don't believe that, you know, taking over somebody's bank account or 
taking more of their earnings once they earn um, is the right way to do things. So that's what we got going on. We also have microservices that you can purchase. Like say you don't necessarily need an agency, but you want somebody that can just, you know, do your social media. Okay. We can create, you know, 60 uh, tweets per month for you for a flat rate. No big deal. And we also have products for sale like uh, caption packs, scripts, um, eBooks, video courses that you can purchase to uh, increase your bill, uh, business all at sub And if you uh, want to go on there and purchase something, you can use the coupon code until the end for 20% off everything. All right. Peace.